drive with me. We are going to drive to McDonald's and I am going to test out some of their, I said, the new drinks range. The summer drinks for drinks range, which has been out for ages. I just haven't had any of it yet. I've been looking forward to doing some sort of drive with me chatty video for a long while because I just feel like I haven't sat down and had a good chin work. I feel like I used to ramble on quite a lot and it's just not something I don't I don't feel like I've done many chatty videos recently. I've been listening to lots of podcasts recently that is what I would have on if I wasn't filming I'm listen to, listening to them whilst I'm driving I'm listening to them whilst doing the washing, you know, because you can listen to a podcast and sometimes a video I want to actually sit down and watch it. So I tend to save them for when I'm ready to sit down and watch a video and I've been using the podcasts for whilst I'm doing jobs around the house. As always, been loving the girls' bathroom. If you did not see one of my latest videos, I, bloody, I met... Sophia and Chinsia. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I had the chance to meet them because I went to their book signing. Um, but I'm loving their podcast. I'm loving Rob Beckett and Josh Windicombe's Parent in Hell. That is a wonderful podcast. Um, even though I don't have children, I really do enjoy it, I have to say. So I added Susie's podcast to my like you like favorite them save them or whatever um so i've just got the three of them now and i actually really do enjoy susie's podcast um it's a little bit less structured than like the girls bathroom one generally just talking about life and it's called confessions of a 30 something drama queen it's kind of going through all of her mishaps and fails and things like that and it genuinely got me to thinking i mean i'm 22 so what life experience do i have to reflect upon but it did get me thinking like oh my god i'd love like listening to the podcasts i would love to sit down and film one and i actually i'd been thinking about it yesterday and i actually had a dream about it last night that me and my cousin who lives in the north obviously don't get to see her much but i had this dream um where we like filmed it but kind of like how some of the people did in lockdown when they were filming it from different homes and things um i had a dream that i was obviously filming like down here she was filming up there but obviously for the same podcast i'm not gonna even say what it was called in the dream um and what it was that was like disgusting it because there's part of me that's like I would love to do the like I would love to do a podcast, um, and these kind of things I get these kind of spurs of energy, and um, especially when I'm in the half term, I've got all this time, and I'm like, I could absolutely do one. I mean, go back to full time work, and I'd have to like film it in an evening, and you know. But I'm kind of I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm pondering. I did some research. Um, I was just a bit miffed off that I, before me and Callum moved, I actually sold a microphone that I had from when I was in college. That like USB connects to your laptop, of all things. Um, I actually sold it before me and Callum moved because I thought I don't need that. Why would I need a microphone? I'm not going to be singing into my computer. And now I'm like looking on Amazon at microphones and how much they cost. If it's interesting to you, let me know. Um, I feel like it would take one person to say, oh, that sounds lovely. And I'd be like, right, that's it, I'm doing it. Off I go. So yeah, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. I am... Um, I've just got so many ideas bubbling away in my head. Oh, I'm gonna get some halloumi fries, actually try them as well. Did I get the um, raspberry ripple ice cooler, please? Medium or large? Just a medium. Yep, anything else? Can I get the, the Spanish fruit punch, uh, just a regular, please? Yep. And could I get a portion of halloumi fries, please? Yep, anything else? That's everything, thank you. Thank you, next window. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 
hot can you get? I found a nice little shaded area actually. Right, first of all, I need a halloumi fry. The last time I got the cheese dippy thing from McDonald's, I forgot the sauce, and that is just like you get four. It's not too bad, better than three. Mm. Oh, not gonna lie, I used to think that all the McDonald's kind of cheese dippy bits like taste the same, but this is a bit more salty. But halloumi is a salty cheese, delicious. I'll be coming back to them, and right. So, the two drinks I got raspberry ripple cooler. And the fruit punch, the Italian fruit punch, which just sounds like a bit of me. Let's go cooler first. So this is the look. It literally looks like a milkshake with a bit of drizzle on it. So I'm wondering if it's any different to a strawberry milkshake. Right. It's given me, you know like the raspberry ripple ice cream that everyone's nan used to give them? But also, you know like the raspberry fromage free yogurts that kids have, that I eat too. That's nice. Very creamy. Delish. Right. Time for some... Um, what's this one? The fruit punch. Whoa! It's like liquid fruit pastels. That is nice, but it is very sweet. It's not quite what I was expecting. Like the look of it, I suppose it does look quite pink. But the look of it that was on the pitch around there, I thought that'll be like, it is quite nice to be fair. But I thought, oh, that'll be like just a super refreshing drink. Which it is. It's very sweet, but now it's getting like kind of less sweet. I don't know whether I've just drank all of the syrup in one shot. Do you know what? That's quite nice. I'm thinking maybe I just sipped the sweetness from the bottom and maybe I should have given it a proper mix first but equally that one actually reminds me it's very like cranberry juicy but sweet not bitter like cranberry juice it kind of gives me like um you know when you try to do your own cocktails from home and like the second the beach you go a bit heavy on the cranberry it's kind of like that but it's giving me like the first sip was very fruit pastel i'm going back to my halloumi dips now because these are a treat mm -mm -mm. where has everyone been on holiday that's what i want to know because for most people this will be like their first holiday out of lockdown because it is for me callum's been on holiday to france but he drove there but in terms of like holiday abroad like this is his first one so where has everyone been this year um because we went to turkey two years ago that was beautiful but where i am um, not the type to be like pack my stuff up and go traveling the one thing i do like to do is try somewhere new every time we go somewhere um so we've got some trips planned for next year which is exciting there may even be a trip towards the end of the year um which is very very exciting but obviously we're going to Greece cause in a couple weeks we may be there when this video actually is out who knows um I'm just looking to see because I put a poll on uh no not a poll I put a thing on earlier asking for any like podcast recommendations because like I mentioned earlier these are the three that I listen to <gasps> the girls bathroom question has been released do you prefer being single or being in a relationship? Well, for someone who's in a relationship, I'm gonna say relationship. 
Anyway. Who has started their Christmas shopping? Because I have. I had to do an online thing. So I actually did that a couple days ago. And then I went to Blue Water with Molly because she needed to do a bit of a stationery shop. And when we were there, there was two things, two different presents for two different people. But two things that I saw and I thought, well, I'll just get them. Because what I do is, every month when I get paid, I actually like... It's, I suppose this is quite a good chat actually. But every month when I get paid, I use a Monzo and I use the pots. And I separate my money out into areas that i'm gonna need to spend so like if i know like for example this month i know that i'm getting my eyelashes and my nails done just before i go on holiday so i've set aside the money for that now because i know it's happening at the end of the month and i need to keep it set aside because i haven't got an endless pit of coinage um each month i put away some money into like a presents pot and then when i am about and i'm like oh my god that would be so good for that person i'm like well i've got that money set aside that can go towards it and it's it's less stressful because I know that that money is set for that one particular thing but yeah it'd be interesting to know how other people do it um I tried to move all of my bills to like the first of the month especially when, when we moved in I normally sit down and I have like a set amount of bills that come out every month equal total the same amount and that's like my non-negotiables and then i make a list and these tend to be the pots that i have on monzo so it might be like savings petrol um because that might change each month or especially with petrol prices fluctuate um presents pot anything that's going towards like holidays that we've got booked and things like that so then i have all these different pots and um, depending on if i've got two big birthdays that month or it's christmas or i've got no birthdays that month it will depend on how much money goes into each pot does that make sense so i don't know how i got onto that actually i asked if anyone bought christmas presents yet so that's what i do with my money i know that anything left in my bank account after i've put everything in pots and after i have paid the bills that i need to pay at the start of the month i know that anything else left in my bank account is like what do they call it disposable income so i can go on pretty much whatever i want it to go on to i am quite liking this one i think i'll drink this first i had my specialist orthodontics appointment in a hospital like two days ago now um and it was kind of like bittersweet um so i had to travel quite far to go to this hospital um turned up 45 minutes early as you do because uh, i didn't know where i was going and i thought i always like to be early anywhere but actually as i was literally at the desk checking in and then she took some further details afterwards i actually got called straight in so i went into the appointment i had to explain from start to finish the whole palaver that had happened um and then i basically said so i'm like left with so this is all to do with dental stuff i've said it before but if you've missed out there is a video dedicated to it, um, not dedicated to it, but it's mentioned in a vlog that I published just before Christmas or around Christmas time, uh, Christmas 2021, if you need to back, back, what's it called? If you need to look back over the details, because I'm not going to go from start to finish. Um, so he basically examined where the teeth were removed and he, from before he actually examined me, he was like coming across like quite confident very comfortable with it like he absolutely knew what he was going on about um but i think his presumption before examination he was like well the fact that there's like less fluid and you know that the holes closed closed is less open than it was he's like that's obviously really good factors but let's have a look inside um and there's this whole check that you do where you like pinch your nose and you blow through your nasal passage and if there is still an open wound like back when it initially happened there was like bubbles where it kind of like throffs a bit sorry it's a bit gross tmi should have put a warning so he got me to do that and it was funny because when i went to my dentist appointment a couple weeks ago which you might have seen me say on my story nothing to worry about at this dentist appointment she did say to me oh it looks like you've got like an ulcer there where the area is that the tooth was removed 
Um, so when he had a look, he was like, oh, that's a bit weird. And I was like, what? And he was like, where the teeth were removed, normally like the wound or like where the kind of dip is, the whole area is normally like pretty much vertical to where the tooth was. But mine's actually on the side of like my gum, I suppose. And um, like the dent, the healing area is on the side of my gum. Um, so, that, I mean, that was that. And then he asked me to blow through my nose and where this ulcer was i think there must have been a little bit of movement and he basically had to swab it put two and two together what color is an ulcer what color is something else so he had to swab that and he's sent that off to be checked um because of my like rheumatoid side of things he was like i'm gonna take this like very seriously and cover like all bases he was like pretty much in the next two weeks he's like they, they tried to get me in for a scan they tried to get me in for a ct scan that day um but they couldn't so they basically said right you're gonna get an appointment in the next two weeks for a ct scan um it'll be like a general one and like a focused one or maybe it's just a focused ct scan i don't really understand but he said he's gonna put me in for one of them depending on how that comes back and how the swab comes back i could end up on long-term antibiotics equally I might not it could be something different but he wanted to check because he said like there could be like bone infection it's pretty much what i took from it um or it could there could still be some infection but he didn't want it to linger there so much that it could end up infecting bone he pretty much said because there is obviously still that bit of activity and it's been eight months that apart from like the slimmest chance it's pretty much gonna have to be surgically closed it just depends whether it depends whether I end up on antibiotics as to when that happens and it depends with my other medication and what's going on with my rheumatology department as to whether closing it will be the best option and so there's lots of things that are still not 100% but I got more answers um, so there we go the saga continues nearly a year on since it was start of september that i started feeling quite unwell with it so it's nearly a year on since the drama my the drama but yeah in terms of like the rheumatology department i don't know if i ever mentioned because it's just it was something I think at the time i don't know it's just it's quite it's personal isn't it but basically about three or four months ago it was whenever my last appointment was and i think that that was i can't really remember when it was but i think it was like three four months ago i had my rheumatology department appointment the doctor was absolutely amazing because i'm under a new doctor because the one that i was with has moved to a different hospital or doing something completely different so there was a whole palaver trying to get an appointment and getting put under a doctor's name at the hospital um but he basically said right well and i this is what i wanted to do as well which i pitched to him and he was completely supportive of it want to know whether i need to be on my medication my injections for the rest of my life or not pretty much and it kind of boiled down to because of lockdown because i was meant to come off my injections just before lockdown and that never happened because of covid so i've just kind of been on them for the last two years but then since i got ill with my tooth i had like a long stint off them because they were just making me more ill um because they still suppress your immune system and then i obviously had this appointment and we came to the conclusion that i would come off them cold turkey because in my head i said to him like i either need them or i don't like gradually coming off them and lengthening the days between them is all well and good because then you might only have to take it every fortnight rather than every week but my body still needs it is what i see it's like black and white so i've come off them completely um he pretty much said that you'll always have like that issue like it's always going to be there but he's known people go till their like late 50s and then it flare up or it take two months and it flare back up i have a sneaky suspicion that i will probably definitely by november start to be like because mm. even already i'm like is that is that a twinge is that that feeling or is that just me what's the word where you there's a word for it where you like tell yourself you're ill so i don't know whether it's like the placebo of me telling myself that 
I'm off them so I'm just I'm gonna be fly I am gonna fly um so yeah but I knowing my body and knowing the feelings I am feeling I just I feel like it will probably be sooner rather than later I don't think I'm gonna I can imagine probably being back on them before Christmas um but that is what it is and if that happens then I can kind of take that and settle with the fact that it is something I'm going to be on and whatever happens in the future I'll then be able to get my head around things a lot sooner for how I'm going to like navigate certain situations um and then it just gives me that like ample time to kind of like prepare and be ready for things and um, that's mainly why because there's all sorts of different things that it affects like if I wanted to go on holiday for three weeks well it affects that because you need to have the medication with you and it's not like you can just take an injection in your suitcase so oh I'm dripping that down my leg so yeah there's lots of like things that it implements holidays being just like the smallest fragment of them um i tell you what i'm definitely going to be getting home and getting in the garden and getting my book out i'm gonna finish bridgerton they're my main life updates i mean any questions i should have probably put a little oh it's dripping on me i should have put a little poll out on instagram to see if anyone had any burning questions so yes i shall leave this video here if you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel down below i'm so close to 530 subscribers i will be back soon with another video bye